Good evening. Another night, another wild storm. This time, communities west of Edmonton were hit hardest with at least one tornado, plus hail and heavy rain. Amanda Anderson reports. A line of thunderstorms with strong winds and heavy rain moved through several Alberta communities Monday night. This video was taken in Drayton Valley. One professional storm chaser first started tracking a supercell around Launch Pool. Very explosive development. It was quickly exploded up into the atmosphere, uh, began to rotate, and eventually uh, continued on to the east, started producing hail. Uh, torrential rains. Environment Canada says there were reports of a funnel cloud just outside of Drayton Valley near Cynthia around 6 o'clock. I'm not sure that it produced. It seemed like the storms yesterday were struggling to actually produce a tornado all the way down to the ground, but there was a nice lowering, a big rotation, uh, probably some rotation aloft there. Aaron Jajak followed the storm as it tracked towards Chip Lake. You know, hail the size of tennis balls, uh, destroyed my windshield. And uh, something I'm used to as a storm chaser, in fact, I usually I, I try to drive into those hail cores uh, just because I like to experience the hail and the, the sounds and the impact of the hail. Environment Canada says the biggest measurement received of hail was 8.7 centimeters. The rain flooded Main Street in Evansburg. It also flooded several businesses in this strip mall. The owner of this women's consignment shop now left to clean up the water that seeped inside her store. The nearby liquor store also forced to close. Just west of here, Environment Canada says a tornado has been confirmed near Wildwood. How big it was is still being investigated. So fortunately, you know, any tornadoes yesterday were out in the open. So even if they were stronger tornadoes yesterday, they would have only likely been doing damage to trees. There was also reports of wind damage in communities further north like Westlock. Amanda Anderson, CTV News.